This week, U.S. state and local governments are planning to sell the most fixed-rate bonds in almost seven months. This includes about $2.5 billion of Build America bonds. The taxable income government bonds created this year as part of the stimulus package. With me now is John Dillon, fixed income credit strategist with Morgan Stanley. John, it is a pleasure to have you here today. How are Thanks. you doing? Good to be here. So talk about these Build America bonds program and, and why you are keeping such a critical eye on the outcome of this issuance. Sure, Laura. It's a, it's a big story for the muni market. The reason this is so important is not so much for the Build America bonds themselves, which are federally taxable, but the fact of the matter is that taxable issuance, which the issuers get a 35 percent subsidy from the federal government, actually detracts from what would otherwise be tax-exempt municipal bond issuance. So right now you have the, this crossroads where you have uh, the prospect of higher marginal tax rates for the top tax bracket investors who are the core buyer of the municipal bond market, the tax-exempt municipal bond market, at the very same point in time where the supply is actually dwindling because of the Build America bond program, which has been enormously successful and popular. In the best case scenario, how will this change the muni bond market? Uh, it depends on what you want to call the best case. But uh, the way we think it will play out is that based on the popularity of this program, it looks like there's a real chance that this gets extended beyond the 2009-2010 authorization, which was part of the stimulus package. So if you get an extension or an expansion of the program, we're already at 37 percent of the municipal marketplace in just six months. Uh, 50 billion in issuance. So this could really continue to eat into tax exempt supply at the very time when people need to uh, be putting this in their portfolios. Overall, the big picture with munis, right, you have this tremendous issuance and it's gone surprisingly well, right, considering a lot of the financial problems many municipalities are facing right now. Why is that? Well, it's interesting. The, the issuance that's going on uh, for the municipal bond program is top quality. There's your double A's, your strong A's, and then you have your, tr your traditional tax exempt issuance, which has all of that plus lower quality A's, triple B's, and so on and so forth. So you have the non traditional buyer of municipal bonds buying these for diversification programs, corporate type of buyers that can get long duration, high quality, highly rated assets uh, in this Build, Amer Build America bond program. And at the same time, you have a f functioning tax-exempt municipal bond program. Okay, so the schedule, individual investors can place orders today through banks led by Goldman Sachs, and tomorrow the institutions can buy in? Right. Generally speaking, they're a little bit different. The Build America bonds are often geared toward institutions, whereas the tax-exempt traditional municipal bonds are often geared toward individual investors. All right, we'll have to leave it there. John Dillon, fixed income strategist, Morgan Stanley, thank you so much. My pleasure. For coming on in today.